Hey, what's up everyone? So a quick video to share a really cool tool that I found that I think would be really, really helpful. And I think you guys will all be excited about. Uh, it's not Pinecone. It's actually uh, something that would replace uh, having to, to use a vector database or even have to use embeddings for that matter. This, this tool that I'm gonna mention, it takes care of that for you. Um, so for a little bit of context, uh, in this group, we've shared ideas on how to, how to try to solve the, the long-term memory problem uh, by, by trying to create a, a chatbot that uses OpenAI, but on a custom data set. So, uh, so as a lot of you know, um, AI is super smart and knows a lot about a ton of things, but for custom data or custom situations, it just doesn't know, right? So it probably doesn't know how your business works or it may not know about your products and services. So uh, so I came across this morning uh, a cool tool and it's on AppSumo, it's called Chatbase, that that solves this for us. So it's, it's kind of like, it's kind of like, uh, I picture it as a uh, backend for, for Typebot to handle long-term memory like Pinecone does, and it handles embeddings for us. So that's really cool. Uh, if, if you've attempted to do this, it's, it's highly, highly uh, cumbersome, um, and it's highly technical to do. Um, so now there's uh, this tool, uh, Chatbase, I highly recommend for you to go check it out. Um, and in this de in this demo, I'm going to just quickly show you how I put it together. So put an example together for you guys. Uh, so Chatbase has an API connection, which I think is, is heavily understated in the deal. But what that allows us to do is to connect our... Uh, type bot to chat base to then uh, retrieve, you know, uh, information or text files or PDFs about, you know, whatever information that we want to pull from. Uh, so th that's what I'm saying, where chat base uh, kind of replaces uh, vector databases like Pinecone and embeddings or having to kind of do embeddings yourself. Uh, so here's, here's a, a really quick example of what that looks like. So let me just kind of run through this demo here. Uh, so it might be helpful to share with you what I actually did. Uh, so let me go to the chatbot. So here's the, the first chatbot that I did. And pretty much what I did is I, I took a, um, a YouTube video. It's, it's like one of these like Google Python class videos. Uh, I transcribed it, I grabbed the text from it, and down here you can see that I uploaded uh, this text file. Uh, so uh, you can also upload other types of text. Um, and uh, so that, that might be useful for you. But for this little demo, I just, um, I just uploaded the, the text from a YouTube video that, that I was uh, checking out. So if we hop over to the Typebot uh, demo or the preview, if I ask it, who is the teacher for the class? It's going to respond with the teacher for the class is Nick Parlante, which is true. And if you ask it, uh, what topics were discussed and it replies with this and that's true it, it the topics that were discussed were strings lists uh, modules and code reuse so that's that's pretty accurate uh, so this is i think this is wonderful uh, and the price point i mean it's it's definitely worth giving a shot. Um, so yeah, have, have a look at it. Uh, I think I think you'll find it super useful. Uh, 
uh, for a bunch of different use cases. And if you've heard of a different tool that does something similar, I'd love to hear about that too. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, I think this is really cool. So uh, please share in the comments, um, you know, if, if you think this might be useful to you or if, uh, or what kind of use cases you plan to use it for. I'm, I'm already thinking about creating like an advisor to help people uh, pick a software for their particular use case. Uh, so that's, that's kind of what I'm going to be working on like as a side project, but I'd love, I'd love to hear from you too.